So a preventive mastectomy, or what we refer to as a prophylactic mastectomy, is when the vast majority of the breast tissue is removed. Um, when we perform prophylactic mastectomies now, we are able to save the vast majority, if not all, of the skin. We call that a total skin sparing or nipple sparing mastectomy. Um, so that the uh, appearance of the breast tish of the new formed breast is optimized. One of the main reasons that we perform prophylactic mastectomies or preventive mastectomies is that a woman can carry a gene mutation. The most common gene mutations that we know about are the BRCA1 or 2 gene mutations, and these gene mutations can put women at very high risk for breast cancer, ovarian cancer, and other kinds of cancers. Um, for women who carry BRCA gene mutation, they can have up to an 87% lifetime risk of breast cancer and up to a 44% uh, lifetime risk of ovarian cancer. Uh, so when we perform prophylactic mastectomies on these women, we drastically reduce their risk of breast cancer. People often ask, how do I know if I'm at a high risk for breast cancer? And what, one thing that can be a clue can be your family history. So if your family history on either the mother or the father's side shows uh, women that have had early or premenopausal breast cancer, uh, triple negative breast cancer, meaning not containing the estrogen or progesterone or her new receptors, um, family members that have had ovarian cancer, men in the family that have had breast cancer, um, or multiple family members that have had breast cancer, and or ovarian cancer, even if they're older, but clustered on one side of the family. Those are the type of patients that uh, would meet the criteria just based on their family history for, for genetic testing. So at Penn State, we have a wonderful genetics program and high-risk program. So if you think, as a patient, that you might be at high risk for breast cancer um, based on your family history or personal history of perhaps some high-risk lesions that you've had biopsied, then, then you can call us and we can do an evaluation and see whether you meet the criteria for being followed as a high-risk patient. And at that point, if you're part of our high-risk program, you would then uh, be able to be tested and followed more closely and perhaps um, be able to uh, take certain medications that might reduce your risk for breast cancer. Well, we always encourage our patients to undergo routine mammograms and self-breast exam and clinical breast exams, but if a woman feels that she might be at higher risk due to her family history or personal history of atypia seen on core biopsies, um, then I encourage her to uh, uh, be seen in a high-risk clinic and be evaluated by a genetics team to see exactly what her risk is. And if her risk is quite high as that what we see with uh, patients that carry a gene mutation, then she may want to entertain the possibility of preventive or prophylactic mastectomies. Um, we have wonderful ways to reconstruct the breast uh, so that it can look uh, very similar to what you have, what the patient has before she has the surgery.